first of all, facts on his back. 2018, yeah. happy new year to you guys. Let's get it rolling. Yeah. So, Whiskey Davido, anyone would agree that we have two of the biggest Nigerian pop stars at the moment? Yeah, facts. I mean, the two of them are in similar points in their trajectory right now. Both signed to Sonia RCA. Yeah. Both trying to break into the US market. Yeah. Do you see any more similarities between those guys? Of course. Um, you know, same fan base. You know, whether we like to admit it or not, same fan base, um, same kind of energy, same kind of crowd. They are literally at the same level. And I think, you know, starting off, of course, Whiskey, you know, had his first entry, had an earlier entry into the industry before Davido. But, you know, uh, over the last couple of years, Davido has caught up to that level. And it's at some point seemed like one is bigger than the other. But it clearly shows right now that both of them are at the same level. So in terms of like more similarities, I'll say the same fan base. Um, you know, same kind of appeal internationally, even though Whiskey has like an edge. I wouldn't really call it an edge. I'll just say his style is more, you know, appealing international and international, you know, on, on the international front. But yeah, same fan base, same international appeal. Okay, so these two guys have always had like a strange relationship, which is why fans were kind of surprised when at the end of December, they brought each other on at their concerts and kind of just started this very cordial relationship. Okay, now, from your own perspective, do you think they're actually friends now? I mean, good way to end the year, you know, um, with, um, you know, both of them coming out, you know, to support each other at their shows. I think the, you know, the, the big one was um, um, Davido, uh, Whiskey bringing out Davido, right? Yeah. So, then Davido also bringing out Whiskey. I mean, two big shows, packed, okay, the cool hotel was packed, and it was just good to see you know, um, there's been a lot of back and forth, you know, from 2000, in 2017, you know, the, the stuff that happened in Dubai, someone getting slapped, you know, um, this person's crew or with that person's crew, tweet fight, someone calling another person a duck or a frog voice and all that. But it was just good to end the year on a positive note, right? Hope says nobody wins when the family feuds. It's facts, right? So it was just good to see both of them come out on stage and have, you know, I mean, you know, act friendly towards each other. I want to see more than that. I want to see them hit the studio together and give us our first Whiskey Davido duet, right? We want to see it happen. We want to see them do that. We want to see them go on tour. We want to see them do other stuff and just, you know, at the end of the year, bring out, you know, one person brings out the other person for five to seven minutes and all that. I think they can take it, they can do more because uniting their fan bases would be incredible. Okay, which brings me to my next question. Like. There's a lot of positive energy that will come from two of them uniting. Yeah. But do you think there's potential for fans to gain a lot from this musically? Yeah, definitely. Why not? You know, um, it opens up more collaborations, right? So it means legendary businesses that work with Wizkid can now work with Davido. Some of Davido's producers can work with Wizkid. You know, the crews can work with each other. It would be good to see a Wizkid uh, uh, Maya Kun record. It would, see, it would be good to see Dremo also, you know, collaborate with Wizkid. It would be good to see Davido do some stuff with Wizkid's camp. Like, you know, it's, there's power in collaboration and power in partnerships. And these are the kind of things that can foster, I mean, you know, their, their friendship right now can foster these kind of, you know, results. So the fans win on this one. They are the biggest winners, right? Because we get to enjoy more music, um, more kind of collaborations and all that. So their friendship now can yield a lot of fruit, but you also agree that in the past, they've kind of pushed each other to do more. Yeah. Like they do putting out a song that does really well. Yeah. And Whiskey is under pressure to put out something that does equally good. Let us not deceive ourselves. The rivalry remains. There is going to be rivalry, right? Because, and that's, I mean, it's friendly rivalry. Not all rivalry is bad, right? Not all rivalry is negative. In football, Alex Ferguson and Asin Wenger at one point, neck to neck. That was quite interesting with Arsenal and Manchester United, right? Top two clubs at, at that point in, in time. So the rivalry remains, right? Whiskey still wants to be at the top. The video wants to be at the top. It means they will drop better songs, right? Just like they've done when they had, in quotes, beef. So the rivalry remains and the rivalry has to remain because when they know at the back of their mind, man, if I slack, this guy is going to take over, right? Or, and you, see, you still have techno. You still have Runtown. Hey, Mayoku is creeping up. You still have a couple of all these other guys in the background waiting. So everybody has to be on their A game. So we need that rivalry, right? We don't just need it to transcend into, you know, physical altercations or, you know, people insulting each other and all that. We need people to just do amazing music. There's rivalry amongst Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Drake. Doesn't mean they hate each other. Doesn't mean they're beefing. 
but everybody wants to put out the best because only one person can be number one. But this leaves a set of happy but very confused fans. Yeah. Because on one side, you have Whiskey FC that's always ready to go. See, but let me tell you something. Whiskey FC is the video FC. Take it or leave it. If you're a Whiskey fan, you're a Davido fan. You might be in your feelings, you might be in denial. But here's it, if you rock to Whiskey's music, you probably rock to Davido's music as well. If you rock to Davido's music, you probably rock to Whiskey. So people can come on social media and then choose one of both. Why? Because of personalities. Whiskey is a bit laid back, very flashy, but a bit laid back. Davido has a lot of energy, puts his energy out. So, you know, people kind of choose their personalities and support these artists based on their personalities. But when it comes to the music, if you are listening to Maya, they are probably listening to Fire Fire. I don't see how you can pick one and not pick the other. So, you know, in a case where you think fans are choosing one person, the fans are the biggest winners here are the fans, right? So they are really happy that, you know, they can now in public rock to both <laughs> music, you know? Okay. But there are certain conspiracy theories. Both artists made the move at the point where they had very important concerts. Yeah. So there's a question of, was this like a very sentimental move? Was this financial? Was this yeah. label driven? Yeah. What do you think was reason for them coming together at this point? Man, I, it looks as if it was financial, but would they have successfully run their shows without the other people being there? Definitely. Why? Because they didn't announce, there was no prior announcement to, to the show saying, oh, I'm bringing out my rival here, and the other person saying so. I mean, of course, when the video showed up at WizKids, Concert. It was already, you know, in, uh, 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 confirmed that Whiskey would also show for for the video's concert. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. So um, I think um, it, it wasn't for financial gain. It was just to end the year on a positive note, right? Which everybody's doing. You know, the more hits also, you know, ended the year. And put, everybody came back together. So I think, you know, I'm just looking at it. Why? What's the reason behind it? Maybe, you know elder statesmen in the industry called them and said, hey guys, enough of this fighting. You know, someone got slapped. You know, Techno got slapped, allegedly, right? You know, before this thing becomes more physical, you know, someone's girlfriend got slapped and all that. Don't, we don't need to take it to that level. Mm -hmm. Beef beyond the level at which, you know, you leave the studio and have physical altercations, then begin and pack, see what happens. So I don't think we need that. And I think they understood it and they got the message and decided to end it on a positive note. Okay, so a lot less slaps and physical altercations. You've said fans are the biggest winners in this. Are there any losers in Whiskey and Davido coming together? I don't think there are any losers. I don't. I think people are excited. They are excited. But you know, the, this begs the question, how long will this friendship last? Because one person is going to piss another person off, or one person takes one show or something, you know, something might just happen. And when it does, everybody everything returns to status quo so you know this friendship might not last for long and if it doesn't last for long it's not a big problem because rivalry what enhances performance but for as long as it lasts what do you think fans can expect from the relationship david or whiskey we need a collaboration and i know all the fans want that collaboration once you can give us that collaboration everybody will be happy Facts on you.